Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make ERA. Explosive reactive armor is commonly seen on tanks, even nowadays. And what it's meant to do is when a shell impacts it, it will detonate the explosive and the shell will most likely ricochet, and that's the whole point of it. But, in plain crazy here, having explosive reactive armor is not really possible. You can't have a perfect system that really works. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to generally make explosive reactive armor, just for the looks. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. This is the brick type pattern, and commonly seen on the Centurion, R-A-A-C, and more stuff. So, um, let's just see that this is your ERA, or, uh, where you want to put your ERA. Usually on the frontal glacy, right? So here's our frontal glacy. What you'll want to do is, um, add a locked motor to each side of them. E locked motor stack. and have an unpowered motor on one side and a motor two on the other side toggled to the max angle um, whatever max angle it will require it might take a little bit of testing for a uh, for this lower glacy here for um, two rows of wedge one by twos it would be a max angle of 30 servo toggle max angle 30 yeah um, torque and speed do not matter at all I recommend you don't set them too high or else bad stuff will happen alright so now for some reason people see ERA as painful to make it really isn't as long as you do it correctly now there's a few ways you can go about this. The way I like to do it is I like to take signs and take the text off by adding a period and zero size or one size text. And you'll do a checkers pattern or whatever. You can't put them right next to the motor or else it won't work very well at all, considering it'll connect. But these signs will connect to each other automatically, so you won't have to worry about that. Wait, hold on, what did I just do? Oh, I, I repeated a pattern on accident. See, it, I can get confused. You guys probably won't. And, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. You just add that part. But now, you can put them all to default, or as I like to do it, you can set it to a mix of sand, slate, ice, and ice. So, you take a very few amount of sand. Don't add many sand. And ice will be the... Okay, so sand represents blown up cartridges. Ice represents newly made fresh ones. And slate... It, it just It's just there. Um, don't have any default material on here. It'll look ugly. And, uh, it's up to you whether you want to add metal to this combination or not. Just try not to make it too dark, right? Okay. And now, um, you can either paint it the same color as your tank's hull, though it doesn't always look the greatest. There's a few different colors I would recommend, such as... This might take me a little bit to find this color again. Oh, hey, I found it. Okay, so this is a color I actually made. It works for uh, jets and aircraft seats as well, but um, you can use it on ERA, and it'll look pretty good, actually. I would try it myself, I if I had a tank that used an ERA like that. And now, with this, you may have to mess around with it. Like, see, um, sometimes your motor 2 might want to bend upwards. That's okay. You can just fix that by sending the keybind to another way around. And you have a working plate of ERA sitting here in pristine condition. Well, kinda. It, it, it'll work. It looks good. Now, I know that there's going to be a problem for some perfectionists about this little gap here. 
Now, I can go into details right now on how you can fix this. I've never done it before, but it is technically possible. But it would require so much motor lock that it wouldn't even be worth it to have ERA at that very point. So if you have difficulty liking the way it looks, just don't add it. Of course, there are different ways to make the ERA as well. And, uh... One of those... You take a sign one by two. You take signs one by twos, right? And, uh, zero, uh, minimize text size, make it a period, you, you know the drill with that, and get them on the lowest part of your frontal glacy, and add a bunch of them like this. On top of those, you'll add more, but these ones actually, okay, these ones you actually put text in, you put about seven brackets in at 100 size text. Yeah, seven brackets, 100 size text, and then you can fill it all default material, and paint it however you want. Usually this is a darker color, this is a, it's an odd type of VRA, and uh, the way you'll connect it is via trails, right at the top, you can add trails right here that would then connect to it like that or if you don't want it to be seen you can use cameras I use cameras on my builds because I don't care really some people really don't like cameras on their builds hint hint dog boy But yeah, it's a very, very crude design, but it really looks um, good on the tanks that it belongs to. Also, the text on the top will get colored. And we'll just spawn this one in right here. And boom, we have good looking ERA on the front as well. So this is a more modern type, but um, yeah. That'll conclude today's video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, don't know what that video will be like yet, but it'll probably be a showcase. See ya. Oh, wait. I forgot again. Okay, Discord server. Yeah, I have a link to my Discord server in the description below. Um, please join. Uh, you do not have to verify with Blocks link anymore. You can, of course. And I'd actually recommend you guys do, but if you have a trouble with Blocks Link, you have to you can verify with me. But either either way, you still have to give me your Roblox username so that I can rename you in the Discord server to your Roblox username. Because there's private ser there's a private server, and um, verifying for that or verifying for the server means verifying for the private server, and that private server is pretty important. Because it's a PvP server without shredders. And if you catch anyone with shredders, they get banned. And that's the point of knowing people's username. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.